In this part, we will explain the operation of the different cabin components. We will start with the forward and aft doors, then we will continue with the overwing exits. Before opening the door from the outside, make sure that the red pressure indicator isn't flashing. Click on the video windows to follow the cabin door operation from outside. Prior to closing, push the gust lock to unlock the door. Lift the control handle and move the door towards the frame. Push the door in and lower the control handle. The door is locked when the handle is flush with the fuselage. Labels next to the exterior handle indicate how to open the door from the outside. Check through the observation window that the cabin pressure indicator does not flash. Push the flap in and grasp the handle. Lift it fully up to the horizontal green line. Pull the door outwards and push forward until it locks in the fully open position. For safety reasons, lower the handle into its recess. Before a normal opening, check that the arming lever is in the disarmed position and that the red indicator is not flashing. Click on the video windows to see the cabin door operation from inside. For closing, push the gust lock and move the door rearward towards the frame. With the help of the door assist handle, pull the door in. Lower the control handle. The locking indicator turns from red to green, which indicates correct locking. Before normal door opening, check that the arming lever is in the disarmed position. Check that the cabin pressure indicator is not flashing. Hold the assist handle on the door frame. Lift the door control handle fully up. Push the door outward. Move the door forward by using the door assist handle. The door locks when it is in fully open position. The arming lever is used to arm and disarm the slide. Click on the video windows to discover how to operate this lever. In order to arm the evacuation device, the safety pin with the red flag must be removed and stored away. Push the arming control lever down. The red armed, green disarmed indicator must show armed. To disarm the door, lift the arming control lever fully up. The armed disarmed indicator must be green and indicate disarmed. Install the safety pin with the red flag to avoid inadvertent movement of the arming lever. To open the door in emergency mode, the arming lever must be in the armed configuration. Click on the video window to see the cabin emergency opening. In case of emergency opening, check that the arming lever is in the armed position. Hold the frame assist handle. Check the conditions outside. Pull the door control handle rapidly fully up and release it. Door opens and locks automatically. Protect the exit until safe for evacuation. When the door is opened with the arming lever in the armed position, the slide deploys automatically. 
Select the video window to see the slide deployment. As soon as the door handle is lifted, the door opens and the escape slide is ejected from its container and the inflation system is activated. The deployment and inflation sequence is automatically initiated when the cabin door is opened. The slide deploys into its final usable position within three seconds. The forward and aft doors can be equipped either with single-line escape slides or with slide rafts. In case of ditching, both can be disconnected from the aircraft to be used as a flotation device. Select the video window to see how to disconnect the slide from the aircraft. For disconnection, the following steps must be taken. Lift the flap of the girt extension to gain access to the white disconnect handle and pull the handle. The girt extension incorporates a quick release feature, a daisy chain, which permits rapid detachment of the inflatable from the aircraft. Once detached from the floor, the inflatable drops from the aircraft but remains attached to the girt bar by means of a string which must be cut by using the knife located next to it on the girt extension. The inflatable is then completely disconnected from the aircraft. If, in case of ditching, one door is not operative, its corresponding slide raft can be disconnected, transported to and operated through any other cabin door. The inoperative door must be in the armed position. Select the video window. If, in case after ditching, one door is not operative, its corresponding slide raft can be disconnected from that door and transported and operated through any other cabin door. The inoperative door must be in the armed position. The first step to remember is to take the survival kit from the nearest hat rack and position the kit in front of the door. Detach the lanyard from the girt bar, pull it and hook up to the snap of the survival kit. A label is provided on the survival kit with instructions how to connect the kit to the girt bar. To disconnect the slide raft package from the door, first the decorative cover must be removed. Pull on the straps located on the lower part of the container on both sides to release them. Remove the cover and stow away. On the soft container, labels explain the different procedure steps. The slide raft is fixed to the cabin floor by means of a girt bar. To release the girt bar, sharply pull the yellow lanyard below the pack in the direction of 45 degrees aft. Pull the red handles on top of the soft container. Disconnect the wire harness behind the pack board by turning the connector counterclockwise. The container is released from the door. Now invert it and see the other steps. Place the girt bar on top of the container. Carry the unit to the alternative door. Remove the girt bar remaining at the alternative door and throw it out. Place the unit in front of the door. The arrows painted on the label must point outboard.
Insert the girt bar into the ground fittings. Roll the unit off the door and pull the manual inflation handle. Let's now have a look at the overwing exit operation. Select the video window to follow the overwing exit operation. Inside opening instructions are placarded on the exit. To open an exit, first the cover flap must be removed. The slide armed indicator immediately illuminates white. Pull down the control handle and pull the exit in. With the free hand, grasp the lower grip hold and lift the exit off the frame. Turn the exit inward and throw it out away from the opening. Should the exit opening not initialize the escape slide deployment, the red handle on top of the exit frame must be pulled for manual inflation. The overwing escape slide will deploy automatically as soon as one of the two exits is opened. Select the video window. The opening of one wing exit will initiate the deployment sequence. The escape slide inflates automatically and is ejected out of its containers and deploys in approximately four seconds. We will now see the communication system between cabin and cockpit. Let's start by a normal call from the cabin to the cockpit. For a normal call, select the captain key on the handset. Call the cockpit. In the cockpit, a single buzzer sounds and the amber attendant lights flash on all the audio control panels. Reset the attendant light. Please answer the call. The communication link is now established. You can speak using a push to talk push button. When the conversation is finished, the call is reset by pushing the reset key on the cabin handset or by replacing the handset. Note, the cabin knob must be released to enable reception. Let's now have a look at the emergency call. Please perform an emergency call from the cabin to the cockpit. In the cockpit, the amber call and the white on lights on the call panel and the attendant light on the audio control panels flash together with three long buzzers. You must answer the call by pushing the transmission and reception key on the audio control panel. Please do it. The communication link is now established. You can speak using a push to talk push button. This will automatically stop the flashing lights on the call panel and the audio control panels. When the conversation is over, the call will be reset by pushing the reset key on the cabin handset or by replacing the handset. We will now continue with the oxygen system and the protective breathing equipment operation. Should the cabin pressure altitude exceed 14,000 feet, 
the barometric switch activates the automatic release mechanism of the cabin oxygen units. The masks drop down. On the cockpit oxygen panel, the system on light illuminates. When any mask is pulled, the lanyard attached to the mask extracts the pull pin from the generator and the oxygen flow starts. Once activated, the oxygen flow cannot be stopped and will continue for 13 minutes or more, depending on your aircraft configuration. The oxygen unit doors can be opened manually from the cockpit by pressing the mask manual on switch on the oxygen panel. In the cabin, the unit doors can be opened by using the manual release tool after the rapid descent when the aircraft has reached the safety level. The protective breathing equipment is primarily used for firefighting or when it is essential to work in a smoke contaminated area of the cabin. Once activated, it will last for at least 20 minutes and cannot be turned off. Please watch the video of the protective breathing equipment utilization. To get breathing protection by OxyCrew, pull off the clamp to open the box. Tear off the orange strap and pull out the unit. Slip your hands and the hood over your head and start the quick starter. This is the beginning of your breathing protection. Now you can fasten the body belt. To activate the evacuation command system from the cockpit, you have to push the command push button switch on the evac panel. Start the evacuation command system. In the cockpit, the on indicator comes on. The evac indicator flashes, and the specific horn is triggered. In the cabin, the evacuation indicators flash on the forward and aft attendant panels, and the specific horn sound. The horn shut off push button in the cockpit and the reset push buttons on the forward and aft attendant panels shut off the horn in the corresponding area. This has been done for you. Switch the evac command system off. The evac command system is now switched off. Let's suppose that the purser has selected the evacuation command push button on the forward attendant panel. As the selector is switched in the captain position, only the cockpit evac horn sounds for three seconds. Now the selector on the evac panel in the cockpit is in the captain and purser position. The purser is now able to initiate the evacuation command system in the entire aircraft. The purser has selected the evacuation command push button on the forward attendant panel. In the cockpit, the evac horn sounds and the evac indicator flashes. In the cabin, the evac horn sounds and the evac indicators flash on the forward and aft attendant panels. In this module, you have seen the operation of the doors, the exits and the associated slides, the cabin to cockpit call system, the oxygen and protective breathing equipment, and the evacuation alert system.